Bonjour à tous. Je m'appelle Hiromi et c'est un courage premium de nouveau oui, PKD. Anyways, hello everyone, Hiromi here, and this is Tier 8 Premium Battleship Picardy. This ship is pretty much a, well, a too long with, let's just say it's a too long with Leon configuration, because it has 305s, okay, and it's, well, it's an abomination, I would say. I don't know what the French is doing. I don't know what they're cooking some baguettes around, but this is like what they think as a last resort before the Germans just comes in. I mean, what's the details? I mean, okay, so no, this is the shipyards in too long. I mean, that's that's a different story. So, okay. Um, anyways, Picard A. Uh, it has. 305 guns and I have the ship comparison right out the bat right now because I want to see what's the difference between Picard A in tier 8 versus the Leon in tier 7. So so far we got wait hold on okay it has rapid reload too but it only has an engine accelerator one so okay I need I, I'm just trying to I'm just figuring out this right now and Reload time, okay, 19 seconds, but it's just 305s though. 13.8 kilometers, okay. You got better turret traverse than the uh, Leon with 4.5 versus 7, pretty much almost doubled. Range rise, does have more range, okay. The consume it though, for a tier 8, it's actually pretty good. For a battleship that is. Um, large caliber, um, okay, AA really doesn't matter at this point, but... Alright, so... I am kind of intrigued of how Picard is going to do. So, oh, so it is too long in a um, tier 8. So you got not 2, but you got 4. So you got 16 rounds of too long guns right to the enemy. <laughs> and are these 305s actually pen penetrate? Because... Too long in tier seven does pen cruisers and somewhat pen against battleships. Now it's not like Leon where the HE is just abysmal. These are actually pretty good 305s. Maybe that is just my guesstimate because I know Leon's more HE focused, but you go against cruisers and you're a Leon, you want to switch to AP and just right off the bat, it's just delete. But so it has two long guns. Picard is right there. Does have a lot of range. I am surprised because this is 13.8. So that's like right by Flond right here. Uh, definitely not as well as Rich Lou. But Picard eh, with the 13.8 kilometers is pretty good. Concealment is very good. Like uh, we got 10.68. So. Champagne, that's the same concealment. I am surprised. Now, Champagne is more with the 406 that actually deals good amount of damage and does have high citadel chance. Picardi, on the other hand, is more just like roll the rounds and hopefully it just hits. <laughs> and it does have rapid reload too, just to shoot even faster. Alright, so camouflages, we got the uh, historic camouflage. Uh, Listery camouflage. Camouflage history. I don't know if I say that correctly. And then the lower public. Well, the the republic. <laughs> so that um uh so the republic. Do you want to be a secondary focus on this one? Because that's weird. Um, I definitely want to go with their sword camouflage for this one, for sure. <laughs> if I'm gonna be using those main guns most of the time. Um, elite ship bonus. Elite gun operator, I thought it's gonna be a flexible. But, okay, we'll take the elite gun operator, so that reduces... Yeah, 18.43. Alright, so, I feel like this ship does need, uh, some bit of concealment. So let's just go ahead, get that concealment going on. Uh, propulsion and because this is 16 guns main battery modification 3 I have a feeling it's gonna be terrible dispersion like Leon so that's definitely gonna be needed 
Um, let's go ahead and grab high grade coal because the consumer is going to be so good with this one. Uh, improved crew rations and good old preventative maintenance pack. Refined diesel, maybe I'll think about that one, but for sure, uh, 28. Yeah, that's pretty slow for a battleship. Alright, let's find the commanders. Um, it does have rapid reload. So, uh, oh no, it's possible. Uh, this one definitely no. That's that's not the answer right there. But uh, let's sh actually, yeah, let's just get Arbinol right here. So, I believe the skills are all set. I do. Do I want their Devil Plus? That is the question for more rapid. Um, we do only have how much again was it? two i feel like two might be not enough though yeah i might have to go fire supremacy on this one so let's just go ahead and um reset this then so apcs citadel strike just if it happens um engine overload oh we'll get that one master reload Fully repaired. Let's grab the fire supremacy because I feel like more is better. Um, adrenaline rush is probably needed. So um, I might get exploit weakness because if I'm going against battleships, those 16 guns with HE definitely will do some work. Uh, six cents is definitely needed. Uh, Arturio maintenance expert for more dispersion at high HP. And we'll get the torpedo alert from that point. So you can pause right this right now for the build. And all right. I believe that's the build right here. So let's go ahead. Let's get to battle. All right. One minute later and we got two bots on each side. And okay. There is an Atlantico on the other side. <laughs> all right. Well, let's figure out how we're going to do this. So. I might have an idea when I go against Atlantico. Max range. Long range as best as I could. And this is a cruiser heavy match, which is perfect for Picarde. Alright. And I need to figure out if uh, the destroyer is going to go C. There is a Kagero, so it's going to be an issue for me. If gear is at say, if it's at say, we have a problem, and I had to switch it HE ASAP. Okay, there's Cleveland, there's Atlantico, uh, Francesco, Carcello. Alright, so there's no destroyer in my detection. Okay, there's Kagera, so that's perfect, that's what I like. Uh, let's go ahead Launch those 16 on that Cleveland. Hopefully those shots hit so good Okay, that is terrible <laughs> All right, Those shells they're fast All right, um, let's go ahead and get this Atlantico out of the way because I feel like this Atlantico Wants to say hi to me. I won't say hi to that Atlantico. You say hi to those rounds and yeah, there's nothing. All right. Okay, so now I'm behind this rock. I want to launch some rounds for that Francesco. And that Atlantico is just going to be like trying to expect me to be out there. Well, fortunately, you won't see me right there. Okay, there we go. Uh, Cleveland is right there. He is. I don't want to use rapid reload right now. I want to try and get this salvo right in first before I launch it. Now I got Norcar assisting me here. The only one way to beat Atlantico is have two ships engaging on this Atlantico and just hammer as fast as we can. So let's get this engine accelerator going right now because Norcar is in danger. Regards that Norcar doesn't know what's going on, he's in danger. I need to go help that Norcar. Fast. And 
That means launching those rounds right now. Rapid reload going in. N nine hits in, not even a single fire. I already got the AP loaded. Alright, that Atlantical is healing up. I am not letting that heal. Okay, eight hits in out of 12, uh, 16. So that's like 50%. Yeah, definitely for sure. Okay, he's out. That's what I like to see. Right, now let's go ahead, get this Cleveland. Let's focus on where he's gonna go. Okay, a little bit backwards. Oh, that's nice to see. Nine hits out of 16. Yeah, this is definitely a Sigma of like zero right here. Okay, he's going to go a little bit towards us. Go ahead, start with the engine accelerator. Cleveland is almost down. He's gonna start turning. He's gonna regret the decisions because the North Carp will take it out. If not, I'll finish it off. go and he just used his last radar for that let's go ahead switch to he start push up to bravo and alpha to get the uh, caps to turn to our favor there's kagero right at the far end yeah that's gonna be some time to get there the only choice is mince just to hopefully use he um that's only one torpedo so that means kagero might have a ready there we go, Mince is dropping torpedoes. There we go, Kagero. So Kagero's probably just gonna miss that. Kagero's probably gonna get at least one or two torps, hopefully. Mm, yep, one torp. And that's it, okay. Yep, all right, so we're just gonna just push and hopefully um, we get that Kagero. All right, there we go. Uh, let's try. Let the consumer do his job. <laughs> okay, he just used the smoke. Alright, uh, we don't have any radars. So this is gonna be... Let the Kagero run towards the Norcar. And he's pretty much... Yeah. So now it's just pretty much waiting game at this point. And hello, Kagero. Whoop! <laughs> Oh, that got delete. <laughs> All right. Well, that is um not that was a quick game, I would say. I mean, besides the Kagero still there and then got instantly deleted, um yeah, that's pretty fast. Let's go ahead and move up to the next battle. All right, second battle in, and again with two bot destroyers, and then two actual player destroyers. So this is definitely a destroyer heavy match right here, and we got well two destroyers on the left, one on the right, and this is four. So this four, so that means two is on the left side and two on the right side. So let's go with. Bots on the left, so we're probably gonna go Bravo and Charlie for this one. And since there is a lot of destroyers, definitely loading up that HE. 16 guns HE on a destroyer will be fun to see. <laughs> and I haven't in the rounds, it's just only like 8 out of 16 or 9. So it feels like it's either between a Sigma of 1 or 0. And that's not... That's not accurate for a um, battleship because Leona's Sigma is definitely zero and Picarde, I'm surprised it is zero. So, well, I am not surprised that it's a zero. So, yeah, kind of expect like that. But I do love the consumer after all. So the consumer with this one, oh, yes, that's perfect. All right, so we got destroyers. Uh, Grom's going to get those torpedoes hits two of those. Oh, that really hurts. Yeah. He... Right. Well, Cleveland, say hello to those 16 rounds. Probably half of it will get in. Yep, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I have the arcs for that Cleveland. 
Um, hopefully I can get those rounds right on that. Random money bank, please. Oh, those 16 in there. Boom. <laughs> Nine hits. Alright, that's fine. Um, okay. A little Tashkent. Get those rounds right on that. Uh, save those rounds. Because those rounds are gonna go right to Cleveland. There we go. Woo, that, that is a lot of damage. <laughs> right, let's speed up. And once he starts turning, say hello to my little friend. Uh, those are definitely gonna be it. Yeah, not much. Alright, he's island. He's not moving anywhere. And he's now starting to move. Let's get those 16 rounds right on that Cleveland. BAM! 14 hits. Oh, Jack Cleveland is not going to survive with that Miyoko right next door. He's out. There we go. Okay, so two destroyers are down. I'm assuming those are bots. Yes, that's correct. So the two players destroyers are still in existence. So now we got this Colorado right there. We got Mahan, which is a bit of concern. Um, hopefully I'm going to slow down and have our Miyoko try to do his job. Okay, he's doing, uh, Miyoko's doing a good job. Perfect. Two Savils, not on that. So now with the Mahan running away from us, that means those rounds are going to go to that Mahan. And with the, uh, Colorado... I believe we're just gonna play a guessing game where that, um... There we go. Alright, now I'm right next to this Colorado. And we're just gonna have fun to see how many rounds does it take to really hurt this Colorado. I know that Mahan is pretty, um, severely damaged. So hopefully this should take care of Mahan being out of play. Woo! That was 16 hits right there. Let's go ahead. Try to slowly back up, actually. Alright. How would you like your turrets to be destroyed? Citadel strike on that Colorado. Oh my god. Okay, let's just do this for a little bit of cinematic. Oh my god, that is a lot. Okay, Mahan has run away, which means this Colorado is um in for some dear trouble. What? What in the bug did I just saw? That is um Yeah, that's a bug. Those supposed to register. That did not register. Um okay, let's just clear this off. There we go. Okay, that is one rear bug I just saw right there. But that Colorado did not... Oh, that was a nice Citadel Crisis on that one. Woo! Alright, let's just go ahead, just grab Charlie, grab Bravo, and then hopefully if our team can take down that Destroyer, will be victory. And if not, at least Charlie and Bravo will be taken and will have the advantage on points. And just like that, we just won on points. The um, the bot decided to go down with the Olan, but that's what I meant. Right there. Okay. Yeah, that Colorado did not <laughs> expect the Citadel Crisis. That was hilarious to see that one. That was enjoyable. And being close range like that one, I could see why Picardy can be fun right there. Three Citadels, one Salvo. Oh, that was fun. It, it felt like you just got Christopher Colombo, but in tier 8. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I do feel like I want to do it one more time just because that was fun. <laughs> Alright. Third game. We got four players this time. And this is a tier 7-8. Norkar Mangi. So this is a lot of battleships. 
a CV and two destroyers. And okay, this is the same destroyer that we went from the last battle. Alright, so two destroyers are at the center and four battleships. So it will be the same thing. So two destroyers will be at the center with the CV as well. Two battleships from each side. So uh, because this ship is mostly focused on being broadside, I might have to go a little bit to the right. Now I'm still concerned where that destroyer will go because again, yes you do have a lot of guns. Yes, you can load to HE and literally delete the crap out of it, but just knowing that torpedoes will be on the way, you are not gonna have fun with the amount of HP you have left. Okay, this, the destroyer is going from cross side. Okay, so Jervis is going down south while the Olan is heading up north. So I want to go ahead and start turning more to the center and just go from there because at that point, yeah. So Olan is going to the center. Jervis is probably going down south. I'm just going to go ahead up north. And let's load up HE for this sake. Uh, Kaga, you definitely do not want to... Um... Yeah. There we go. Okay, I'm still not detected, which is which is good news. Because once I'm detected, this Olan is in for surprise. And then now start turning away. Two fires on that Olan. He has to use damage comp, which I expect. And yeah, he knows that I I mean for I mean for seriousness. And because you decided to go broadside on me. A <laughs> perma fire with one shot. Oh, I feel sorry for that. Hold on. He just used damage comp. Now he's pretty much perma fire. Load up to HE on that black nor car. That probably gonna cause a fire. Nope. I am surprised it's not. And since that Norcar is heading northwards, let's go ahead and get those 16 rounds on that Norcar. There we go, 5 shots, not much. Okay, stand still. And come on with the reload time. It's backing up. Those shots. Woo! 10 shots right in that Norcar. He is hurt. I could actually try to angle myself a little bit here. And hopefully this salvo would end this uh, Black Norcar. Well, no. It decided not to. I <laughs> uh, gotta love those uh, half hands. Okay, now he's going forward. This Norcar is not focused on me. I'm surprised. So here, have more. Okay, destroy the modules. Yeah, I need to aim a little bit higher because I am not doing any significant amount of damage. Okay, I believe that's a Malky for sure. Okay, yeah, I am I am not doing any damage on that Nor car. I need to stop focus and focus on this Amagi for sure. There we go. Amagi, just can you just not lag me out? Nine shells. Okay, not much. Alright, so there's just two destroyers on literally the other side, so that alone is distracted. Uh, the Amagi is focused onto me, so let's just try to get behind this area. Um, okay, no one focused on that Olan, that's a concern right there. I, I believe they're focused on that um, carrier for sure. But since the carrier is right there in front of my face... <laughs> uh, 
I still love to see that one. Alright, well, this game is probably a lost cause, so what we're just gonna end it off with a bang. This going. Alright, Jervis is right there, so I'm gonna go start turning. There we go. Yep, Jervis is right onto me. And the Ranger as well, for sure. Those are all on torpedoes right there. Hopefully those torpedoes not launch right now. You just really want to go close like that. He's out. Jervis is going to take me out as well. Alright, well that is that. Okay, and yeah, there we go. So the enemy team won with five points. All right. So hmm. I say Picardy is a monster. <laughs> Picardy is a monster for sure. Um, there are situations where it just does not feel like it's good at. Definitely cannot defend against all those destroyers. And also your teammates, that's for sure. But like, regardless, Brigade is a fun ship. I would recommend this ship because it's so fun. It's 16 guns, uh, 18, pretty much 18 seconds with the um, rapid reload to decrease by 30 seconds. I mean, that is. You won't see any 16 gun ship to reload that fast. And it's especially as a 305. I mean, 305s, yes, it's not gonna pen as much as like Leo and Forsake, but the damage is there. You will have fun. It's not gonna one shot destroyers, but it's definitely gonna cripple them for sure. <laughs> fun ship. I will recommend this ship. It's fun. The damage is there. If you're close to like any battleships, get that AP with the APCS Plus. And it's an easy print of Citadel Crisis if you're lucky. Emphasize if you're lucky. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be looking forward to seeing you at seas next time. Until then, Jane.